everybody. Thank you guys for coming over. It's Dylan Thorner. I apologize for the long wait on my videos. Um, let me show you something kind of cool. Right here we got a very dangerous situation, but it's pretty cool. I shut everything off before I did this. So here we have our wiring in series acting as a switch for the current flow. Power comes in, power goes in there. And then we have this in series. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, this is a simple way if you don't have a battery charger for MacGyver's out there like I am. Um, what I'm able to do is charge a battery while you use current. It's kind of interesting. Um, this is only a couple amps, so it's taking a while. Plus the meter, I'm, believe it or not, I'm using one of my batteries for it. That could be why it's moving all around. You know, sometimes if I touch this, changes like 10. Sometimes it'll show like over voltage. Like if I move it somewhere, occasionally it does it, but I do plan on getting a new meter. So what this is right here is a bridge rectifier. It turns alternating current to direct current. The two white wires are the battery and the two goldish and silverish color ones are the switch something like a switch like that see that wiring out there if i turn the switch off put a battery and a bridge rectifier turn everything on and if i unhook say one of these it shut everything off like this that was just the uh, sound system that was on <laughs> kind of scared you there for a second didn't it and this is a useful way to charge batteries up, even though you don't have a battery charger. You only have parts, like I do. You know, I got all kinds of 2N, 2222A transistors. I had a, um, like a package came in the mail. I just kept all my parts in it. Like 1K resistors, 2N3904s, and all that stuff with the diodes and... 1N4007 is the one I'm using for that. As you can see here, um, if you don't use a full wave and you do a series, batteries in series with lights, your your um, battery charger probably won't work because it needs alternating current. And what I mean by that is if you connect it, you're just putting DC through a coil, but it wouldn't make any sense. You need alternating current for that to turn to DC for the, your batteries. Um, the other thing is I'm kind of interested in seeing what other possibilities I could do for this. Um, I know it takes a while, but I'm thinking of creating some kind of unit that could possibly go in series with your man's power. So say if you're using 100 amps max, and 100 amps you can easily use to charge a battery. Say like Oh, well, the car battery died or something. It's a lot of amperage, but you could do it. You just have to have a really big bridge rectifier with a heat sink, so I bet. Some idea that, um, something I thought of a long, long time ago with a transformer, but the transformer seems like it, it doubles, say, 120 through the 12 volt coils. It's M5 to like, more than 100 volts, I bet. Because the neon bulb was starting to like turn black every time I shut it off. It's like, couldn't see through it. It was like really bright and stuff. So this way is to use this way. I just have to find like a switch or something where, I don't know, like maybe an Arduino circuit that I had once. Um, actually, I could show you that. So this is what it would look like. Um, let me try to get this. Have all these antennas coming in from my shed and getting all tangled up. Let me show you here. Alright, so this is my Arduino project. Um, this is an Arduino. It's a microcontroller where it's like techno technology, it's like a mini computer where you can interface a Bluetooth thing like a phone has or a Bluetooth headset. And you can connect your phone to it and it tells the Arduino what to do. There's a certain code for it. And what I got here is a little black thing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's a transistor. This will turn that transistor on and 
turn this little 12 volt relay in there on. This is where you put your 12 volts, but there is 5 volts relays. I just one from a thing I ordered a long, long time ago, and I broke it, so I took the relays out. I have another one around here somewhere, but I can't. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Anyway, I glued my Arduino on here, so say if I wanted to, do other projects right there. So, anyway, that's pretty much all I have right now. My dog, Lila, well, my parent's dog is starting to bark, so that means she wants to go inside. So, I'll have to let her inside. But anyway, for right now, it's Dylan Thorner. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll have more on Arduino soon. See you guys later.